Welcome back. As Kansas faces those major budget cuts, the Parents as Teachers program is on the chopping block as well. And the Now KC's Allison Bruner is here to tell us why parents are fighting to save it. That's right, Justin. The Parents as Teachers program helps moms and dads take an active role in their child's early education. But now there's an outcry after lawmakers defunded this program just this week. Megan Nordstrom is a first-time mom. She knows parenting can be overwhelming, but credits a free parenting program known as Parents as Teachers for shaping her to be the mom she is today. It gives you confidence that you are doing the right thing. Serving some 10,000 Kansas families, the program costs the state about $7 million every year, a small price to pay according to its supporters who say it plays a vital role in early intervention for developmental problems. I hear stories every single day of how this program changed lives. For parents, it helps you know what to expect after you are expecting. What you can expect at every age and stage of your child's life from birth to age three. After lawmakers moved to defund the program on Tuesday, vocal backlash prompted them to put the amendment on hold. A new hearing is scheduled for March 5th. Those with the program tell me they've been able to avoid budget cuts in the past because of parents voicing their concern. In the meantime, parents are hoping for the best. It gives you that sense of that everything's going to be okay when you know that you have someone to talk to, you know, besides the doctor or your mother. We'd be heartbroken. This is such a big part of our, our week. Wendy Webb, who's been with the program for 25 years, isn't taking this easy, knowing the stories of success. Seeing those children go through school successfully and graduate and then come back and have their parents uh, invite me to graduations. Now, parents will have to hold out until that March 5th hearing that a decision will be finalized. This as parents and teachers celebrate its 25th anniversary next week.